there's a moment comes where I think I've walked the walk and I've talked the talk and now the time is to just throw caution to the wind and do exactly what I want to do. I left school at 16. It was quite normal to go to art school at 16 <laughs> in, in the 60s and 50s, you know. One of the sculpture tutors, he said, look, you're using paint like clay. Why don't you use some clay? So I, every Friday there was a sculpture class. So I went to this class and it didn't take much for me to just know that that was the medium I wanted to work in. As a language, sculpture as a language, I think has a vast amount to contribute. And that's very different from sculpture as the mute, dumb object on a plinth. It's a constant state of rehearsal that then, when the audience, the viewers arrive, that is the performance. I think artists don't stop evolving. I mean, the energy to keep on trying to make things be surprising and exciting isn't going to wither on the vine. I, and I think a lot of artists of my age feel that. I think there's something that I'm striving for, which is to give it that sense of awkwardness or imbalance or even a slightly argumentative, quarrelsome relationship with the space, which I hope differentiates it from everyday objects in the world.